supernovae, gamma ray bursts and active galactic nuclei. These are some of the most extreme objects in our universe and the Sharonkov Telescope Array will be looking for them. These extraordinarily violent objects are capable of generating photons, particles of light, of the most energetic kind, which is gamma rays. And it is these gamma rays that the Sharonkov Telescope Array will use to look at these extreme astrophysical objects. There are lots of different types of light, not just the visible light that our eyes respond to. At the least energetic end, there's radio, followed by a microwave, followed by infrared, which is what your skin feels as warmth, followed by visible, followed by UV, which is what sunblock blocks out, followed by X-ray, and finally, the most energetic form is gamma rays. So extremely violent events in the universe are capable of generating gamma rays. For example, stars blowing up, crashing into each other, possibly black holes forming, and dark matter might even be detectable in gamma rays. And the Sharonkov Telescope Array is the next generation of ground-based gamma ray telescopes. I asked Professor Jim Hinton why the current generation needs a successor. The current generation instruments, I think, have basically shown that the whole thing is is worth doing. I mean, but to really sort things out and um, fundamentally revise our understanding of our universe, we need something that's that's very much better. But developing an instrument of this size and sensitivity is no mean feat. So the CTA consortium has 1,000 scientists working on it, representing 27 different countries. For me, the most exciting thing is is the is the element of of, of pure discovery. You know, the, the idea that we'll discover something which is is not at all expected. And, and so, uh, you know, it'll be really quite revolutionary um, CTA because there will there is no other detector that will be able to do this. Yeah. A bit of a problem uh, myself working out which thing to work on because I'm so excited about lots of different yeah. things. For me, you know, the prospect of CTA is very exciting because we might finally see gamma photons from galaxy clusters for the first time. So, you know, that'll be jolly exciting um, and we're looking forward to it a lot. My name is Jessica Few and I'm a student working on the CTA. This series of videos will look at the astrophysical phenomena that the CTA will be looking for and will explain what they are and how they work. I'll have some help doing this from some of the 1,000 scientists working on the CTA.